One subject that I know will always be brought up when I head to Bristol, especially in the springtime, is that huge crash I had. It was in the Xfinity race, April 7th, 1990. I came off turn two, I caught a bump by Robert Presley into the wall. I went, well, part of the wall. I hit the guardrail, the guardrail gave way. I hit the end of the concrete wall and the car, it just blew up. And there's no other way to describe it. People in the stands, my friends down on pit road, they just thought they saw Michael Waltrip get killed. There was no way anybody could survive a crash that looked like that. But somehow they peeled the sheet metal away. My feet were on the ground. There was no floorboard under me. The steering wheel was off to the right somewhere. I was just sitting there, nothing in front of me. The car had just torn into pieces and I was fine. Sitting there looking up at people thinking, why, why are y'all so concerned? I feel fine. I later saw the video and understood their concern, but I'll tell you a side note on that. It's, it's, this is the best part. I'm in the infield care center and Dale Earnhardt comes in and he said, man, you're one tough son of a bitch, I'll tell you that. That, that was incredible. You know, Dale, Dale was the toughest guy there was. And so when everybody would come in to see how I was doing, I said, I'm fine, y'all know what? Dale Earnhardt thinks I'm tough. What do you think about that? I thought that was pretty special. And when they came to interview me, I wasn't quite as sophisticated back then as I am now. I came out of the infield care center, and the reporters grabbed me. And uh, you have to listen to what I said. Yeah, Ben, I think I'm all right. Uh, got some contusions and a little bit of confusion, but uh, that's probably not too unusual. We all got a pretty good laugh out of that. But I was really concerned about the Kool-Aid man. I was driving the Kool-Aid car, and man, was he a mess. <laughs>